I think one of the toughest uh, things a police detective has to do is to know if a perp is telling the truth, right? Uh, if they have a suspect, if they have somebody they're investigating, sometimes it's hard to know, are they telling the truth or are they straight up lying? And one way that they know if they're telling the truth is they'll ask similar questions over and over and over again. And if those answers don't always line up, then chances are they're not telling the truth, right? If they contradict themselves, then they're probably making it up, right? There's something going on there. So that's how you tell if somebody's telling the truth. And the same thing applies to the truth of God's word. If you have an interpretation, something that you believe you understand from a Bible verse, um, it's going to always agree with itself. The Bible will never contradict itself. That's the third rule of interpretation. And that's what we're going to talk about this morning. In this video, um, we are going to talk about the rule of unity. Okay, the Bible never ever contradicts itself. You don't have one verse to say, you can go kill people, it's okay, and then another verse say, thou shalt not kill. Uh, you don't have one verse that says it's okay to commit adultery, and then a bunch of other verses say it's not okay. You know what I mean? Now, the Bible always agrees with itself. It's 100% united. Never ever is there a contradiction, okay? And that's important because God's word is the truth. Like we said in the intro, uh, the way police detectives know if somebody's lying is if their story changes over time, if there's inconsistencies where they contradict themselves. The Bible never contradicts itself. It is united. So that's the rule of unity. So if you're reading a passage and you're struggling with it and it seems like, wow, I've never heard that before and it seems complicated to me, look at some parallel passages. Look at some of those cross references I mentioned uh, about three videos ago, right? Just find other places where the Bible talks about the same things and it'll help give you a better picture of what's happening there, okay? So, um, if you ever find a place in scripture that seems like it's inconsistent, let me tell you, one of the rules of, of biblical interpretation is any inconsistency in the Bible is only in the mind of the reader. The Bible itself is totally consistent, never contradicts itself. So if you come across a passage that seems contradictory, seems inconsistent, Spend some more time studying. Really look into it. Look at other pace, places in the scriptures, in the Bible, where that concept is being talked about. And you'll find that there was really no inconsistency or contradiction in the Bible. It was only in your mind and it needed to be cleared up. So when you run across that, spend some time studying and you'll find the Bible is 100% united and always agrees with itself because it's the most perfect book ever written. <laughs> 